what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? If I could tell Colin Kaepernick anything about Donald Trump's invitation for him to participate in a race summit with Kanye West and other unspecified celebrities and other folks, I would tell him, do not trust the orange man. He is a liar. He is a thief. He is a despicable human being. He cannot be trusted. Why on earth would Donald Trump want to put on a race summit? Unless I can see him trying to put on a race war now. But a race summit? Why would he participate in something like that? It's all for show. If Donald Trump was serious about race relations, improving race relations, he would not hire, have hired a KKK member. He would not have hired Jeff Sessions to be his attorney general. He would not have gave the KKK a pass when they endorsed him. He took that endorsement and, and embraced it. He was loving on that endorsement. Refused to denounce the KKK. Why would he do that if he cared about improving race relations? Why when the white nationalists ran over the people, why he didn't denounce the white nationalists? Why did he say, there were good people on both sides. Why did Donald Trump tell police officers to be a little rough when they're making arrest? And you wonder why all of this police brutality is going on? They heard it from up top. I keep telling you, leadership starts at the top. If the person at the top is a bully, It'll trickle down. And all of his little minions, anybody under that person's rule would be bullies. That's the way it goes. Donald Trump don't give a damn about race relations. He's using Kanye West and anybody else that he can use so he can, he's basically throwing them a bone. He's like, here you go, take this bone, you dogs. Take this bone. I don't give a damn about no race relations. I mean, the only thing I care about is white supremacy. Now, if that's we want to talk about that, that's cool. But somebody told him, one of his PR people told him, hey, Donnie, why don't you just do it for the gram, man? You know, do a race summit, you know, do it for the gram. You know, it'd be good publicity. You know, you could say that you were the first president to, to put on a race summit. <laughs> This is utterly garbage. I can't believe that he would even try to pull something like this. I know Colin Kaepernick is not going to take part in this shit because there's absolutely nothing he can gain by taking a meeting. Now, this is what some of y'all out there think. What is it going to hurt to meet with the president? What is it going to hurt to just sit down and hear both sides? If you had a person in your life who constantly lied to you, you knew that they were her, an habitual liar, incapable of being trustworthy, you know there's nothing they can say to change because you've given them many, many chances to change and they haven't changed. That's who they are. Why would you waste your damn time? See, y'all pain freaks. All of y'all out there talking about sit down and talk to them. Y'all some pain freaks. I wouldn't even give him the luxury of insulting my intelligence. People look like some fools. Remember all of those HBCU, uh, all of those people, uh, went down there and to the White House 
sitting in the Oval Office with Donald Trump taking pictures, like he gonna really do something for the black colleges. Like he really gonna try to like give them a booster shot and improve education in the black community. What has he done since he took that photo op? Exactly. It's game. And I know Cap is smart enough to peep this game. I know he's smart enough to not take part in this foolishness. I know somebody who will, though. I know Kanye do it. I know that Steve Harvey will do it. I know Stacey Dash would do it. Charles Barkley would do it. Stephen A would do it. I mean, the list is long. I mean, it's a long list of buck dancers. Woo, they love dancing for massa. Be dancing for massa, boy. Massa, massa, massa. Woo, can I just kiss your feet, massa? I love you, massa. Woo, massa, massa, massa. That's a trunk. I'm telling you, man, I still haven't figured out what it is about him that make these celebrities turn into groupies. I cannot figure it out. I've never, ever in my life wanted to get next to somebody who is trash. I don't give a damn what they do for a living. I don't care how much money they had. If I don't like them, if I think they're a bad person, I don't want to be around them. I don't understand why people take pictures with these. I, I mean, I guess I understand. I get it. They have low values, you know, low standards. I get it. Low standards. Oh, this is a person that's famous and this is a conversation piece for me. So I want to take a picture with them. There are some people just don't give a damn. They just want to take a picture. Just take a picture. And I couldn't give a damn about being seen with Donald Trump. I couldn't, I wouldn't want no parts of that White House, especially while he's in there. Dude don't give a damn about no race relations. All these people running around here talking about give him a chance. Give him a chance to make a fool out of you? Come on, man. And this guy, Daryl Scott, the pastor, he cannot be trusted. He a snake. You can look at him and tell he's a snake. It's always worming around Donald Trump. That's that's his that's his boy. That's his go get him boy. Hey boy. Go out and tell them black folks what I'm trying to do over here. Hey black, hey boy, hey boy, can you go get me about 10? black pastors and uh, meet me over here at the White House in the Oval Office at 4 o'clock. Uh, I'll give you some snacks uh, and some beer. Maybe I'll give you some chicken and beer, boy. Now get on out there and go get me some of them black pastors, some of them sell-out black pastors. And uh, what else can I get you to do, boy? Well, anything you want me to do, massa? Massa? What you want me to do, massa? Darius Scott cannot be trusted. He is a first-class sellout sucker. I know all of his parishioners are going straight to hell because what in the hell can they gain by following the devil? If he ain't the devil, he's at the minimum doing the devil's bidding. It's sad, man. It's very sad. Trump insulted Kaepernick and now he wants him to engage in a summit? He called his mama a son of a bitch. Well, he called him a son of a bitch. He called his mama a bitch. And he wants him to engage in a race summit? Man, get real. I mean, are y'all are y'all hearing what I'm saying? This guy... Darius Scott is supposed to be the one that put all of this stuff together. They say it's going to be a two-day event with uh, people in the entertainment industry one day and then athletes the next day. So you're going to have 
It's going to be a big old show, man. It's going to be a big old show. But I do believe they're going to have a hard time getting any real credible uh, entertainers to take part in this. They're going to get their regular sellouts, like the ones I just named. They, I mean, they, that's, a, that's a gimme. Woo, boy, they love kissing massa. Woo, they love buying down. Oh, kissing massa ass. Man, they love it. If Donald Trump was serious about race relations, or really serious about a race summit, first of all, he'd pump his brakes and get off Cap because Cap ain't got no business trying to talk to him, period. Kaepernick would be a great person to speak in any capacity regarding race, but I would not advise him to speak on any platform that's being promoted by Donald Trump. Because Trump just wants to get his name associated with it and then say at the end of the day he won. Because he's not going to do anything about race relations. I mean, race relations are going just fine. Just the way he planned it. Kaepernick should definitely sit this one out. Allow some of the other activists to speak. Hell, allow some true historians and academics to speak. It's a bunch of them out there. That's if they were really serious about improving race relations. Also, now that I think about it, Trump has enough racism in him to stand in for a few million people. So easily he could be the one racist representative yeah. Also, if you're serious about improving race relations, invite some of the parents and children of the many black women and black men and black boys and black girls that your law enforcement has gunned down over the last few years. That would be a good start in the right direction, but that's too much like right. And subhumans don't know nothing about righteousness. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?